spirit of fear drawn to that and having our imagination imaginations right be not what god has created or imagined for so let's be kind have some kindness today and love and i'll pray that god jesus the lord jesus ministers to you in a way that is working for you and that I work on my boundary, what is my stuff, what's my emotional baggage, and then what's somebody else's. And know and do my best not to cross that line. And Lord, thank you for watching over my spirit, my soul, my body. And I just want to thank you ahead of time that you are doing the same for each and every one praying this prayer today. May God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs> Start at the beginning. There we go. This is Gigi, Jeanette. If it will start. So day seven on my treadmill. Oh, nice. Nice. So day seven on my treadmill. I did it without the step counter and the treadmill or the minute counter. So I timed it on my phone for 30 minutes. And 50, first 15 minutes, I did not count my steps. That's okay. I did a second 15 minutes. So I reached 500. And I'll do a walkabout till 5,000, which will make it an equal 5,000 steps for today. Anyways, just saying, it's day seven on my treadmill. I'm enjoying it. Taking a breath. And this time I used five. I went to the number five speed, which was when I first used this treadmill years ago. <laughs> when I went to visit one of my children. So I'm going to leave it at according to my pace, according to my modified, modified pace. And I just want to say a little prayer for you, myself included. You know, when we pray for others, it's very important that we include ourselves. <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes you'll hear a friend or a friend or pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. And it's like, just like one of the ministers said, no, you pray for you. So, yes, praying for ourselves is very important. We can find ourselves in the pattern of praying for others and feeling whatever negative feelings that come with that. Spirit of fear drawn to that. And having our imagination, imaginations, right, be not what God has created or imagined it for. So let's be kind, have some kindness today, and love. And I'll pray that God, Jesus, the Lord Jesus, ministers to you in a way that is working for you, and that I work on my boundary, what is my stuff. What's my emotional baggage and then what's somebody else's and no and do my best not to cross that line and lord thank you for watching over my spirit my soul my body and i just want to thank you ahead of time that you are doing the same for each and every one praying this prayer today may god bless you have a great day Enjoy your day today. I was just uh, updating to say that I'm, I'm on day seven and I'm learning to work at my own modified pace because it's been a long time since I've been on that treadmill and I'm um, doing a recovery work for myself individually and I uh, hope everybody's well and everybody's okay and I'm not telling you when I pray. I don't pray to tell you what to do. just wanted you to know that. I pray so I can find my own healing, return back to my self-worth, return back to my self-knowledge uh, and understanding that I know that uh, 
is a, of a good place, a place of faith, a place of understanding, a place of knowledge, a place of wisdom, a place of clarity, you know, where there's no clarity, or where, where may there be clarity, where there's no healing, where, may there be healing, where there's no sense of empowerment, may they be a, may, or the, may be a sense of self empowerment. That's the kind of prayer I pray from the darkness to the light, from hate to love. Because truly in faith, there is no negative things in life. By faith, there is no fear. With faith, there is no insecurity. With faith, you know, it's not about denial. By faith, you know, we work through things that we need to work through on a regular daily basis. So I hope you enjoy yourself today. Enjoy your day. And remember, this is the day the Lord has made. And we choose to be glad and rejoice in it. Have a great day. God bless.